Okay, so the purpose of this video is to talk about how to import uh, from Zoom a video and a transcription uh, from that video that has been made automatically within the Zoom Cloud function. Um, so, first of all, let's look at what uh, type of files that um, Zoom produces. Uh, so if you um, uh, organize a recording in Zoom and you've organized the automatic uh, transcription of, of that recording in Zoom, um, you end up with a uh, audio file, a video file, and this VTT file, a text file that contains the um, transcription of um, the, uh, the video you've recorded. I've made a practice um, video here, um, and this is just of me a few moments ago reciting uh, Edgar Allan Poe's The Raven, uh, which I've set um, Zoom up to uh, transcribe. It's a bit hard talking well over myself, so I'm just going to pause that for a moment. Um, okay, so uh, the thing is, um, the, the video itself is, is easy to import into um, in vivo. So I've created a new in vivo um, project called Test Transcription Project. Um, and if I just go to um, Import, I can um, uh, go to uh, Data Files, and I'm going to right click. I'm going to select Import Items, and I'm going to import um, the uh, the MP4 file, which is the video file of that um, little clip of me doing performance poetry. So I'm just going to import that there now, and I can play it in here. Um, and uh, and we can in Invivo you can code and directly code the um, uh, the the video file directly itself. But what we want here is we want um, the transcript for uh, this video file to be appearing here, um, uh, and for this for this content to be mapped onto um, the time frames uh, within the video um, uh, the video content in particular. So um, uh, what we want is a file that looks a bit like this. Um, uh, th th this is one that I've already prepared. Um, the, uh, the, the start and end times for each little section of transcription is um, stored here. Um, we've got hours, minutes, uh, seconds, and, um, and, and sections of seconds. Um, th th there's a, there's a, a, a start and an end for each little bit of um, transcription, that was me saying testing one, two, three, um, separated by a hyphen, uh, and we have um, a tab here, which is um, uh, uh, an indicator for in vivo that um, uh, these are two separate columns of information, one with the timestamp and one with the um, the content for the video. Um, so uh, how do we get it into that format? Because um, this VTT file uh, might not automatically open on your computer. You might get a pop-up that says, um, uh, uh, "What type of application do you? What type of application do you want to use to open this file?" It does open up in Notepad quite nicely. Um, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to open it up um, now. In uh, I'm going to open with, and I'm going to open it up with the Word function. So instead of Notepad, I'm going to look for more um, applications, and I'm going to open it up in Word. And you'll see here um, that this transcription file um, I've, I've put on the, the, um, the editing uh, function so you can see the paragraph marks and things. This file here has um, things that look a bit like the start and end times for the, for the time coding. Um, and, the, and we've got the content in here that's been auto-transcribed. For better or worse, there is some, uh, there is, it can be about 90% accurate if you've got a good um, audio recording, and it can be worse than that. So in order to prepare um, this data to look more like um, what we need to uh, format it like in order to import it into Invivo, um, we need to clean up the data a little bit. First of all, remove the title and the first paragraph mark from um, the uh, from the transcript. Um, you can see it. the transcript will finish with an extra paragraph mark at the end. I'm just going to leave that for now. Um, uh, and, and what I'm going to do just to make life easier is that we, well, we, what we want to do is we want to remove um, these uh, one, two, three with the paragraph mark, and we're wanting to also remove that separate, that um, final extra uh, carriage return here as well, the extra carriage um, uh, paragraph mark here as well. The easiest way of doing this is by doing uh, select all and then go to um, import 
uh, uh, table, and we're going to convert the, the, the text to a table. Um, there's four types of data here. The, the first is the, the number, followed by the paragraph mark. The second is the time marker. The third is the, uh, the content of um, what was being transcribed. And the fourth type is the sort of blank, empty um, uh, line that's just got a single carriage return. So I'm going to tell um, Word to convert this, in, this text into a table with four columns, and it will um, sort it out for me um, quite nicely. I need to make sure that, um, that these, uh, these, the, the columns are separated by paragraph marks. Each of these things here is a, is a paragraph mark. So I'm going to click on that, and it gives me four columns. And so now I can just uh, select the columns that I want to delete. So there's this column here that I want to delete, delete column, and then this column here that I want to delete as well, delete that column. So now what I want to do is I want to convert this uh, table back into text. And to do that, I'm going to uh, highlight the whole table, and then I'm, I'm going to click on um, Layout. And here is an option to convert to text. This time, I want to highlight tabs. And what this will do is it will put a tab between each column and a paragraph mark, a return carriage, between each row. So um, we end up with something like this. You can see the black um, mark here is the indicator to say that this is a tab mark, not a space between the um, lines. And if I uh, if I remove the um, paragraph, the, the form paragraph formatting marks, you, this disappears. But um, I'm going to keep it on so you can see what I'm doing here. The final thing we need to do is we need to just convert um, this little bit here uh, into a hyphen. So I'm going to highlight this whole thing here. All these spaces, by the way, when you've got this thing function turned on, uh, are just highlighted with a little dot. So I'm just going to highlight that little dot and that little dot. Um, and I'm just going to copy that. I'm going to do Control c to copy that. Um, or you can, or you can um, click up here to, for copy. Um, and uh, then I'm going to click on Replace. Um, and I am going to um, uh, uh, click on uh, find what, which is going to be the, the, um, this uh, text here, and we're going to replace it just with a straight hyphen like that. Um, so I'm going to click replace all, and all of those um, uh, things uh, have now been replaced. I've only got 11 of them, but that's all I need to replace. Uh, and now I'm just going to delete that last little paragraph mark at the end. Oops, too, too much, um, and we're good to go. So now I'm going to I'm going to resave this uh, file. Uh, I'm going to save it as a um, a new file. I'm going to give it a new name, and I'm going to call it um, uh, transcript. I'm going to edit it. Edited, and I'm going to save it as a plain text file. This is a txt file. I'm going to save that like that. Oh, we've got another option here, which is default. Sounds good to me. So when I go into um, uh, my uh, transcription file, there's this, now this new file here that's been added, which is this text document. Um, and when I open it, it will look like um, the one that I showed you earlier, um, uh, like this. In fact, um, that is my older one. So I'm just going to show you the new one, which looks exactly the same. So now we are ready to import this file into InVivo. Um, so let's open our InVivo file again. Um, you'll see up here on the video editing function, which actually aren't showing, isn't showing because we've got to click click to edit. Now we've got edit functions appearing. Um, you can see that uh, th there is a little section here around tra for the transcript. So um, this is where we can sort of add our transcript. And what we want to do is we want to import um, our uh, information that we have just, our data that we've just created. So I'm going to browse my computer. I'm going to find the file um, that we have just created. This is, uh, transcript files need to be txt files. So this is the only one that's showing up um, in this folder. Um, so I'm going to open that. Um, and I am going to uh, let InVivo know that um, we want to create uh, one row of transcript for every tab delimited line of our data. Uh, and you'll see that um, here we've got the time signature that we've, we've sort of edited uh, and the content as well. I'm going to deselect this uh, option to include uh, headers for each rows so um, that, uh, so that um, 
uh, we're, we're just telling it that this is field one is the transcript, uh, the, the um, time signature, field two is the content, and I just need to um, add this information down here about mapping on the field. So the transcript field for field one is the time span, and for field two is the content of, um, of our uh, video. So I'm going to click OK, uh, and uh, beautiful, it has just um, imported all that stuff. So um, what we can do now is that we can um, uh, highlight sections of this text as we may wish, uh, and we can um, code it uh, with a, a, a new uh, line of code. Um, actually, that's an old line of code. We'll just code it. We'll call this uh, um, uh, uh, reflecting on the past because the poem talks about thinking about December. Uh, and uh, that's now a new new node in here. We can also, uh, through this video, we, I mean, we can play the video straight through with these functions here, but we can also uh, click now, right click on any of these lines of, of text, uh, and um, uh, there's an option to play that selected row. Presently, my soul grew stronger, hesitating then no longer. So um, uh, this now allows you to skip through the video as you um, check your text. You can code, you can use all your in vivo functions um, just as if it is any text, but also uh, this transcription is now mapped onto the video. Um, and, um, and this um, means that you can be maybe a little bit more selective about um, uh, how much of the video you choose to tidy up with regard to the transcription. Um, you can code the uh, video directly itself or you can code the transcript and, and all of that is managed within in vivo.